Welcome to Rocket League's first TAS freestyle competition. Now, when it comes to Rocket League, the best definition of TAS is probably tool assisted shot. Using the Bacchus Mod TAS plugin, players are able to slow down the game and record precise inputs to create unique and almost impossible Rocket League plays. But let me clear up some common misconceptions. This is not AI. TAS is a tool that allows you to replay and correct shots until you have the perfect touches and timing required. But you still have to have the skill to pull off those moves or mechanics. Once complete, the final result is something that is technically possible within the game, though most likely beyond the ability of any human in a single uninterrupted attempt. My point is, TAS isn't some kind of mod where you push a button and the car freestyles for you. Most of the entries you'll see today took hours to create. For this competition, I challenged my participants to take Rocket League to places it has never gone before. Did they deliver? Well, that's up to you. At the end of this video, make sure to cast your vote for the three TAS submissions that impressed you the most. Our first entry is from UT, and though I requested that entries be no longer than about 30 seconds, UT seems to have really got caught up in the moment with this one. I also asked people to come up with creative names for their shots, instructions that no doubt weighed heavily on UT's mind when he dubbed this the fart. Besides all the flip resets, I especially appreciated this little side carry here, and honestly, this would have been a great place to end the shot. But yeah, he's not done yet. So as this long fart comes to an end, let me summarize. UT is terrible at following directions, but pretty good at flip resets. This dizzying finish makes for 30 unchained resets in all. All right, for number two, we have an inspirational story from Taylan. He says, on December 1st, Sledge DM'd me to tell me I still had time to get a clip in for his contest. Therefore, I canceled all events with friends and family to concentrate on making the tasks. In the end, I wasn't able to score anything good, and my dad got mad at me for not doing my homework. Well, let me just say, I appreciate your sacrifice, Taylan. And personally, I think the clip was worth it. I'm sure we all appreciate how hard it is to do something this mechanical with a puck. Crazy Vulpix decided that for his submission, he wasn't even gonna try and score. No, instead, his goal was to get the ball balanced perfectly on the top of his stationary car. This was done by first using the task tool to line his car up with the exact center of the ball. And then from there, he says it was about an hour of trial and error. One of the interesting findings that came from this experiment is that while the ball and car are not moving, the ball does keep spinning, as shown when you speed up the footage. I know this probably isn't as exciting as a crazy freestyle shot, but this is actually exactly the kind of weird stuff I hoped people would try. And personally, I think the variety makes for a more interesting competition. Next up is the Dash Drift Dribbler. Ninja Frog says the dash into a two-wheel drift dribble was something he had been trying to score for a long time, and TAS was a chance to finally make it a reality. I think this one really checks all the boxes for the competition, an almost humanly impossible play, a unique name, and well under 30 seconds. So congratulations to Ninja Frog, I think this one might be a contender. We move on from the dash drift dribbler to the flying flip flapper. Yeah, these guys really like alliteration. Pickled Melon says, as someone who has no means to compete with a high level freestyler, I decided to take a slightly different approach and freestyle with unlimited flips enabled in Bacchus mod. I spent about four hours creating a shot that is a unique display of freestyling while abusing the heck out of spamming jumps and flips, end quote. So basically, this is someone cheating in my cheating competition. I guess I really should have seen this coming. Thank you for your submission, Pickled Melon. Our next entry needs a little bit of backstory. In December 2021, Mickey Ellis posted this incredible clip to Reddit that showed him completing the first level of Lethemir's Giant Rings map using just 33 boost. Fast forward about a year, and the release of the TAS plugin on Bacchus Mod inspires him to take it a step further. Mickey Ellis says the hardest part of this run was getting good jumps that allowed you to gain height while also keeping forward momentum. But after about an hour of grinding, he had done it. Level one was complete with zero boost. As we watch another flawless task creation, let me remind you of your important role in this video. At the end, you'll need to help me choose the top three entries by casting your vote using the Google form that's linked in the pinned comment below. Were you impressed by the two wheel dribble? The no boost rings? Or perhaps it's Bo here and his reverse cam helis. Fortunately, you don't have to pick just one, so be sure to keep track of your three favorites as we go through the rest of the video. At number eight, we have Calvin and his mysteriously titled shot, a series of resets and air dribbles. Really makes you wonder what it's gonna look like, doesn't it? He describes his play as follows. My shot starts with a Mac tough reset from the ground, 
then pops up to an air dribble into a reset pop, then another air dribble into a beautiful musty and double heli reset to the finishing reset musty. Man, some of these descriptions are real tongue twisters. Thank you for the submission, Kelvin, and I have to say, nice touch with the map switching throughout the shop. Bredzel probably deserves a prize just for having the best shot name. Jonglage de Futur means juggle of the future, if I didn't screw it up. So he's basically saying that because this play is actually possible within the game, Rocket League skill might get to the level you could actually see it in one of your matches someday. At which point I would probably just recommend you forfeit immediately. The next submission is titled A Cinematic Experience, and it definitely lives up to the name. Toyman says they wanted their shot to stick out, so it's been edited using reshade. The description explains this is a turtle flick pop into backflip reset into reset flick, then some more reset flicks and air dribbles into a musty corner insta flip catch, followed by an air dribble into a wall redirect, no bounce. So uh, yeah, that's the recipe if you guys want to recreate this shot at home. Thank you for the clip, Toyman. This was almost good enough for me to overlook the fact that you called me Seabell in your entry. For the Napes submission, he used a custom map and concentrated on performing what he called the hardest type of flip reset in the entire game. This is a reset where you cancel your flip into the ball and it looks like you're just spinning into the ball over and over. He also pointed out that he thinks he might have actually discovered a new freestyle move while working on this shot, something he refers to as a backwards jacksy. Now I'm not well versed enough in this stuff to break it down for you, but Nape says he's going to make a video to explain what he was doing in this shot, and if you want to learn more, you can check out his channel that's linked in the description. Our final entry is probably more of an honorable mention, because it definitely blows that 30 second requirement right out of the water. But as this is the first ever Rocket League task competition, I wanted to at least show off one tool assisted speedrun in this video, and Draco has been working on the perfect example of what task can do for Rocket League speedruns. His submission of this Glacial Rings run is dubbed Global Warming, and in it he has managed to shave over a minute off the current human world record for this course, a record which coincidentally is also owned by Draco. This was a tough task challenge that took almost 20 hours to complete, the key points being the perfect ring bounces needed to navigate the tight corners as fast as possible. I'm not going to show the full run here, but the video will be linked in the description, and as well, if you want to learn more about the Rocket League speedrunning community, I invite you to check out my recent video on the subject. Alright, now it's up to you. Use the Google form linked in the pinned comment to vote for your three favorite task creations, the clips that impressed or entertained you the most. Voting will close December 31st, 2022. If you want to try tasks for yourself, I'll have the Bacchus Mod plugin, as well as a video tutorial from its creator Blacku, linked in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and check out some of my other content linked here. My name is Rocket Sledge. Thanks for watching.